What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about an upcoming SPAC merger between PIC, which is Pivotal Investment Corporation and XL Fleet. Now I believe that XL Fleet is a company that can easily double over the next five years, especially because they kind of bring a unique business model to the growing EV space. So first for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the details of the merger. Then I'm going to get into the actual business model and what products they offer then we'll get into the financials and finally we'll talk about what growth opportunities there are moving forward and really where I could see this company being over the next five years so with that being said let's get right into today's video So on December 21st, shareholders will be voting on whether or not to approve this merger. And of course, I voted for this because, you know, I would like to invest in XL Fleet and not a company that literally does nothing. So moving into the details of this merger, XL shareholders are rolling 100% of their equity and all transaction proceeds will be held within the business. Now from this merger, XL will be gaining about $350 million of cash as well as a $150 million pipe investment which is basically exactly what it stands for private investment in a public entity now when the merger is complete XL fleet will have an implied valuation of about 1.1 billion dollars which as they state here is very attractive when compared to others in this space which is especially true when you compare it to companies like Nikola which is a six billion dollar company workhorse which is almost three billion dollars and Hillion which is also almost a three billion dollar company so now that you see what some of the valuations of the competitors are, let's take a look at what investors are paying to invest early in XL Fleet since right now this is the only way to get in with this stock. So since PIC investors will only account for 16% of the total shareholders for XL Fleet, at the current market cap of $465 million, investors are paying for a valuation of essentially $2.9 billion. And you can get to this number by taking the market cap of PIC, which is the SPAC, and dividing it by the percent ownership that PIC shareholders will have, which is 16%. So 465 million divided by 0.16 gives you the $2.9 billion valuation that you would have to pay for to invest early in XL Fleet. Now, at first, that may seem like a high valuation, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video because when I go over the growth opportunities, you're going to see just how far ahead XL Fleet is compared to the other competitors that we talked about earlier. So turning to their investor relations presentations, they are on a mission to accelerate vehicle fleet electrification through customer specific solutions. They do this by installing their XL powertrain onto existing vehicles, which converts them into electric hybrid vehicles. And one of the nice things about this product is it's actually approved by the OEMs themselves, which means that by adding the XL powertrains, this doesn't void any vehicle warranties, which is obviously a big deal for the companies using their products. Now, XL Fleet offers four solutions with the XL Hybrid, XL Plugin, XL Link, and the XL Grid. The XL Hybrid system is a product available for class two through six vehicles and can be retrofitted to most major OEMs like Ford, Chevy, and General Motors. This solution gives the vehicles a 25% boost to miles per gallon while reducing CO2 emissions by 20%. The XL Plugin is another system that can be installed installed on Ford F-150 and F-250 trucks and delivers a 50% increase to miles per gallon and a 33% reduction in CO2 emissions. Now the next two products are a little different. XL Link allows customers to use the data collected by XL Fleet to analyze the electrification and CO2 reduction metrics and XL Grid is a network of charging and power stations that can meet the requirements of any fleet. Now the reason I like XL Fleet so much is because two of these products are geared towards the actual cars themselves while the other two products in XL Link and XL Grid are really added benefits to using those original two products. They get the revenue from you using the electrification solutions like the XL Hybrid and the XL Plugin while also having that added benefit of XL Link which is the data analytics and then on top of that if you're say buying a hundred of their systems 
you're probably gonna wanna invest in the XL grid so that you have easy and convenient charging. So essentially, they're a one-stop shop for any major corporations that are looking to improve sustainability while also seeing the cost savings of hybrid electric vehicles. Now, XL Fleet does already have an established product with more than 10 years of experience, over 200 fleet customers, and more than 3,000 vehicles on the road with more than 130 miles being driven. As of right now, they are already have companies like FedEx, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and Verizon as customers, which is massive because one, they have large fleets of vehicles, so there's a massive revenue opportunity there. But more importantly, it shows that they have a legit product that will only get better and more efficient as time goes on. So XL Fleet definitely has some very juicy financials. If we start with the revenue growth, they're expecting to grow by almost 200% this year, and that growth is only expected to increase with 2021 projections reaching $75 million, indicating 257% growth from this year. If you look out to 2024, XL is expecting 273% growth in 2022, 130% in 2023, and finally, 113% in 2024, which would put them at well over $1 billion in revenue. So there is clearly massive upside potential to the top line revenue growth as we move over the next five years. Now getting closer to the bottom line, we can see that they are actually expecting to have positive gross profits this year. And by 2022, they are expected to be EBITDA profitable, which is pretty incredible for how early in the growth stage they are. So not only are they really scaling that top line revenue, growth, but they are also working hard to get the bottom line to profitability. Now, if we look at how they'll be using the funds from this merger, we can see that roughly $75 million will be going towards product development and international expansion. This will help with improving existing products while developing new ones for class seven and eight vehicles. Now for expansion, this allows them to secure new distribution partnerships in other countries. And as we know, there is a big push internationally for EV vehicles. The U.S. is actually not the fastest growing EV market, so international expansion will be key to sustaining the high revenue growth that XL is expecting. Now, the last number I'll touch on is the $25 million that will be used to scale core profitability. This will help them refine their operations, leading to increased production and supply chain efficiencies, thus leading to increased profitability. So like I mentioned, they are diligently working on getting that bottom line number to be positive. So for the last segment of this video, I really want to focus on the growth opportunities and ultimately why I believe that XL Fleet could be one of the top performing EV stocks over the next five years. When you look at what XL Fleet is currently doing compared to the other popular EV players like Hillion, Workhorse, Nikola, and Lordstown, XL is way ahead of them in terms of having a proven product in the market. In 2020, XL Fleet sold more than 4,000 units, while Hillion only sold 20, Workhorse sold 400, and Nikola and Lordstown are still in the pre-revenue stages. Now, XL Fleet also provides a chart to show just how much further ahead they are, and you can see that they are the only company producing more than 1,000 units a year, and they are the only ones to have more than 100 customers, with none of the other competitors achieving that customer goal until 2024. So, of course, XL Fleet is going to make it look like they're the best company to invest in, so those numbers may May be a little skewed, but at the end of the day, the point is they are already well ahead of everyone else in terms of having a product market fit, and they've already started selling these products while all the other competitors are either just releasing their products or they're still in the process of developing them. And that is a big reason why I like XL Fleet so much compared to the other EV stocks that have just recently merged with other SPACs. Now, from a product innovation standpoint, XL Fleet has already started development of new products to further expand their total addressable market. They are currently working on expanding the vehicles that can be used with their XL plug-in system and are also working on a completely new product, XL Electric, which is a zero emission 
transition solution that will only enhance their wide product portfolio. And in addition to this, XL Fleet's biggest customer and partner, Farmbro, is expected to double their number of orders in 2021 with more than 2,000 XL systems being purchased and installed. And if you remember from earlier in the video, they sold just over 4,000 units in 2020, which means that from this customer alone, they are already going to achieve 50% of their 2020 revenue. Now add in the other 200 customers plus any new ones they get, and you can already see that this company is going to grow significantly in the coming years, especially as demand for electrification continues to increase. I think by now we all know that over the long term, electric vehicles are the future, but a lot of these companies don't have the capital to just go out and buy a thousand new Teslas because right now, electric vehicles are still relatively expensive. Now, what XL Fleet does is they bridge the gap between the cost and the sustainability of electrification. So now these companies don't have to go out and buy a thousand new cars. All they have to do is retrofit their existing cars with the XL systems. And that's really why I like XL Fleet because they play in the space between full-on electrification and converting existing vehicles to hybrid electric. So XL Fleet is a company that I am super excited about and I believe they have a bright future over the next five to 10 years. So this is one that I will definitely be buying heavy and I've already started a position in the mid $14 range. So I am up already, but if we see any other big pullbacks, I will definitely be adding to my position. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out the YouTube channel. And with that guys, I will catch you on the next one.